Hello wonderful people! Welcome back to my channel once more. If today is your first time stopping by, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell in case I upload a new video, then you'll be able to watch it. So in today's video, we are going to be making pizza, homemade pizza. So let me walk you through the ingredients I have here. I have here my missing bowl and one cup of warm water here. I have two teaspoons of yeast. I also have here one teaspoon of sugar. I have here one teaspoon of salt. I have here four cups of all purpose flour. Hope you can see. All cups of all purpose flour. So, and this time we're going to be missing the dough. So I'll begin with my warm water in the bowl. In the bowl. Then I'll go in with my sugar inside. Next, I go in with my yeast. Then I'll mix it. So you mix it. Nicely. You want to know that it's well mixed. Yeah. So I think it's perfect now. With a little bit of bubbles on top. Let's see that. So I'm going to set this aside. But before setting it aside, I'm going to cover it with a rubber elastic on the top. Like those wrap one, the one they used to wrap. Okay. So I'm going to put this one aside, okay? Then we'll wait for a few minutes, then we'll start the we'll I have already added my salt into my flour. Like I said, I have four cups of flour here, which also I already add the sugar into the yeast in the water. So I don't need to add any sugar here, but I just added one teaspoon of salt. The flour is a lot, that's what I'm using, one teaspoon of salt. So depending on the amount of the flour you have, that's the ingredient you have to have with it. So I already add my salt inside, just going to mix it together. Yes, mix it in. Mix in. Let the salt go everywhere. Mm. Okay. Then I'll go in with my mixing. The yeast. See how it rise. See, it rise very beautiful. See, yes. So I'm going to mix it. In. I'm going to pour it on it. See, pour everything. So I'm going to mix it with my hand, like I said. See, I need a little bit of water, so I'm going to add some water into the flour. Okay, just waiting for the water to mix with it. Oh, yes, I don't know. A little bit of water. It is easy when you have the machine, but if you don't have it, you can use your hand to do it. So I see still. 
my water is very smooth so i have a little bit here which i'm going to add it to it yes okay let's mix it now i'm still missing my dough still missing me i went in with my two hands because two hands are better than one <laughs> <laughs> like the way the Bible said, the Bible said two hands are better than one. Yes, so my one hand cannot do it, so I have to go in with two hands. I'm going to show you how it looks soon. So let me show you how my dough look. It's perfect. Very nice. Let me show you how it looks. Okay. See? My dough is ready. See, my dough is ready. Yep, ready to go. So I'm gonna clean my counter. Then I'll okay. I'll use the rolling pin. So I'm going to clean my counter top. So I'm going to spring a little bit of so the first spring uh, flour a little bit of flour there means the bowl I'm going to put it in but before that you can add one teaspoon of oil or a little bit of oil in your bowl okay so like this see you can see my bowl. if I roll it then you see that it's not much just want the flour to stay like um, the dough to stay in perfectly. Uh -huh. Side on the side. Then, what's my oil? In this case, if your dough is not perfect the way you want it, you can add some flour. Mm -hmm. some flour to it but my dough is very perfect I don't need to add any flour to it so I'm just going to uh, do it again like pull it again the way I want it this is different than when you are rolling it with pin I'm not ready yet to roll it with pin because I'm going to leave it out for some I just need a bit flour to go around it so I can put it down nicely. See? So, and this. So, it's gonna go inside the bowl. Yeah, so it's going inside my bowl. Here's the bowl. But I put the oil in. So, I'm going to set it inside. Then, I'll cover it. So I'm going to cover it and show you guys. Very nice. It is beautifully wrapped. So I'm gonna see you when my dough. Right, okay, pizza process. I'm going to complete my pizza stuff. Okay, so let me go and oh, family. Let me show you my ingredient that I have for the pizza. I have here mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. You can get different different brand. This is the brand I got today. And I have here a pinch of salt, tiny bit, into my sauce that I'm going to put on top of the pizza before the um, before putting the ingredients on top, I have here my chicken that it's already baked, that it's also already chopped. You can also use um, 
chicken breast yes sometimes i use that sometimes i use this one too so you can use your own chicken bread that you bake i have here kobasa sausage or pillar sausage i also have here fresh tomatoes one fresh tomatoes i have here red onion red onion and i also have here green ball pepper as well and i also have here small tiny habanero this one is a choice but if not this and this alone it's enough the green one is going to be on top of the pizza and i'm not going to use it to blend it okay so those are my stuff that i'm going to use and i will show you where i'm going to be washing my ingredients i'm going to wash my hand and i also have your white onion some also call it onion so i have a white onion washing everything so here we go just put the banana inside just chop everything chop it there's nothing to do so i'm putting in my pot onion and then the tomatoes you don't need to remove the seed so this is like simply we are making our own sauce for the pizza In this one, I'm just going to cut a portion because I'm going to use it for the pizza as well. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put this one down, and I'm going to use this. This one too, you just need to chop, you don't need to cut it any fancy. Okay. okay, just tiny bit of water. See, just tiny bit, it will cook itself. If you like, so don't even add water, you can see the slow water just tiny bit. So I'm going to set it on fire now. Let me show you inside the pot. And here is my chicken that I show you. Here is my sausage. Also, the bell pepper that I chopped, the green, the red, and the red onion. And here is the mozzarella cheese that we are going to use. So I'm ready everything then let me show you the tomatoes that i was cooking before i just cook it for a few minutes the chopped tomatoes and the, the little bit of the bell pepper that i cut and also the onion those are the ingredients i have in the end the small habanero that i add so i'm going to blend this one now so that i can use it for the sauce let me show you i'm going to blend it so pour it inside. It's a bit inside, so I'm going to grab this one. And then that will come inside. And I'll blend it like I'm not going to add any water to it. Perfect. That is how I want it. The red and plan is what I'm going to use for the pizza base. Okay? This one. If you can meet, you can also buy your own in the store. Okay? So at this time, let me show you. My pans are ready. My pizza pans are ready here. So I am also going to get my dough, which is ready. Check out my dough. It's ready. See? It's ready. Wash my hand. I wash my hand before putting it in. 
it's ready. So I'm going to get it ready now, okay? Hello. I'm going to clean the counter. Ready to wet my paper towel. Cleaning the counter. Cleaning me. Then I get some dry paper towel, like in a dry one. To wipe it down again. Then we're going to grab the flour to spring a little bit everywhere, like where we're going to put the pizza. Okay, there we go. Then here it's my dough, double the size. See, double the size. So you can press it down. It's very nice and beautiful. Can roll it back again. So see, double the size. So here we go. So I'm going to divide it to two. Yeah, because I'm going to make it in the two pan. So I'm going to divide it to two. If you have the knife, whatever you use to uh, divide it, but you can also do it with your hand as well. So here we go. Here we go with the dough. So it's very nice and fluffy. See, very beautiful. So you're gonna span your dough. Span it. Span it. You can use the uh, flour. You spray some flour on it again. You can also spray some flour on it again. Then I have my dusting here. Yeah. Already clean. So I'm going to use it to roll it very well to press on me to go around put my head at the back show you on top so here it is and I put it here on the pan so in this case if you want to do cross you can just fold it like this but I don't want to do any cross so it's okay you can just uh, fold all around if you want to do the cross but I don't want to do any cross so yeah there we go so I'm going to go in with my sauce now okay I'm gonna go in with my sauce. Yeah. Okay. So my dough it's already on the pan, like I show you. So just tiny, tiny bit of oil. Spread it on me. Spread it on me. And spread it on me. Yes. Spread it in like this. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go in with my sauce that I already blended.
So, we're gonna go in with our stuff. Here, my cheese. This is the mozzarella cheese that I have. My green pepper, which is the bell pepper, go in with it. Okay, and I go in with my let me go with onion first, and I go in. Okay, and I go with my red pepper. In this case, I can put a chicken before those things, but I just want to put the chicken on top, then I put the cheese on it. Yes, yeah, so however you do it, fine. Yes. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the chicken. I put my chicken on top. You could also put the chicken when I put the, how do you call it? When I put the, um, sausage i can put a chicken before putting all those things but you can also do it the way i'm doing it however you like it so right now you're gonna go in again with the cheese i don't know how you should call it either a meat lover or veggie <laughs> So this is how it is. It's gonna go in. Okay. Then to leave the rest for the other piece. Because I'm doing two. So everything is ready. Now I'm gonna go in the oven. Okay. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oven is already on. So look at it. Look how beautiful it is. See? I'm going to bake it now. The oven is ready. So see you when it's done. Hey! At this time our pizza is ready. Just came from oven. It's ready. See that? So I'm going to leave it here for at least one minute. Then I cut it. Let me check on the other one too. Yes, the other one too is perfect. It's perfect. Yes, but let's wait for it. Two minutes for that one. Then we can remove because I put this one first before the other one. Okay, so I'm going to bring my thing to. So I'm carrying me in my pizza. So I'll show you at the table when I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to show you in my plate. I know you can't wait. So give me a second. So here is the pizza. I went to get my plate. So here is the pizza. Can you see that? Let me put it in so you can see. Yeah, it's my pizza. Are you ready to eat this pizza? Yeah, it's good. Let's go. See? Let's go. Mmm. 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 I'm going to come back. Mmm. It's so yummy. I don't know, like I said, if it's a meat lover or veggie lover, I don't know how to call it. So, I forgot to tell you how many minutes to cook it. You don't need to cook it for long, 15 or 20 minutes, depending when you put your oven. It is good to put it oven on 425, yes, or 400. 
yes okay and then when it's in for 15 or 20 minutes it's supposed to be ready so i also forgot to tell you that the pinch of salt that was on the bowl i added it to the blended tomatoes that's what i put on the base of the the ingredient i put on top of the pizza okay hope you love this pizza don't forget to try it at home and give me a thumbs up okay thank you guys thanks so much for